U.S. climate envoy John Kerry says he's delighted by a pledge by China not to build any new coal-fired power stations abroad. President Xi Jinping's announcement at the United Nations General Assembly could significantly limit the financing of coal plants in the developing world. But Mr. Xi made no reference to energy policy in China itself, where half the world's coal is burned. Let's have a listen to what he said. China will strive to peak carbon dioxide emissions before 2030 and achieve carbon neutrality before 2060. This requires tremendous hard work and we will make every effort to meet these goals. China will step up support for other developing countries in developing green and low carbon energy and will not build new coal-fired power projects abroad. Our correspondent Robin Brandt explained that while important, this represents the most easily achieved of China's carbon reduction goals. It's significant, it's important, uh, it's enough, uh, frankly, for those who are calling from uh, something clear uh, and tangible from Xi Jinping as we build up to that UN conference in Glasgow at the end of this year. Uh, but it is the low-hanging fruit. Um, this was increasingly expected in terms of a pledge from Xi Jinping. Uh, it was this time last year that he made that pledge in terms of China striving to hit peak carbon emissions by 2030 and be carbon neutral by 2060. So he chooses the United Nations uh, for these moments, uh, it seems. Uh, but the key words uh, are not just new and build coal-fired power stations, but also abroad. Um, these facilities have been a big part of uh, his uh, Belt and Road Initiative, rather awkwardly named Foreign Investment and Infrastructure uh, Programme. But the reality is now uh, the demand for them has uh, all but disappeared. Um, and also the detail really, really matters, as always. I mean, when will this actually start? Is it today? Is it a year's time? Five years' time? Uh, will this apply to plants in some countries that have been approved but not yet built? Uh, and then what about financing? Uh, will China also endeavour to end its financing of new coal-fired power stations uh, abroad? And indeed, will it put pressure on its banks? foreign banks as well to end their financing of new coal-fired power stations abroad. That detail at the moment, we don't know. And what did he have to say about what China is doing domestically as well as abroad? It is so hugely reliant on coal. Well, he didn't have anything to say as far as I've seen in this speech. I mean, that's perhaps not surprising. Of course, this was the gathering of the United Nations, so as kind of key global platform. But it is the issue of domestic uh, addiction, frankly, to coal in China that is uh, the most uh, important issue. Um, you know, China is still adding new coal-fired power stations for generation, also in its steel industry. Coal and steel are the two biggest emitters of CO2 in this country. Uh, it's adding new last furnaces as well. 61 in total just in the first half uh, of uh, this year. And it is the issue of that addiction to coal that is the most important issue here in China, uh, but also globally in terms of dealing with uh, climate change. You know, uh, and we had nothing in terms of uh, that. We do know, uh, because I was in a conversation with John Kerry, President Biden's climate envoy a couple of weeks ago, and he talked about a new plan that's being developed by China's leadership, one plus N it's called. And that is about hitting that t target of 2030 in terms of peak carbon emissions and going further to 2060 on trying to make China a carbon uh, neutral country. So that is a key plan that is coming, but we don't have any details uh, on it yet. But it is China's addiction to coal. It is his uh, desire to keep adding new power plants here, f uh, generating electricity fueled by coal that can last for 40 to 50 years. When is that going to stop? When is, actually is that going to be cut? That is probably the key question now uh, in terms of China, in terms of coal and in terms of trying to tackle uh, carbon emissions uh, globally and the key role that China has in that.